if we break this 41.3k, then it becomes much more likely that this whole bullish trend here was just a bull trap and that maybe maybe this was the top and we're actually going to see a, a some kind of long consolidation or maybe even bear market. Hey guys, it's Monday, which means I'm joined by the moon, which is so ironic because today it feels like the moon couldn't be further away. <laughs> Carl, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I mean, we still didn't reach the the, the target of 500k subscribers that we sh were supposed to reach last week. How close are we? I th right now, I think it's just like 1,000 away or 2,000. Oh, so. guys, pause what you're doing. Go hit his link down below in the description. Go subscribe to Carl's channel. Let's, I, because I want credit for this. I want credit for you getting 500,000. So, <laughs> Bit Squad, go get Carl 500,000. Let's go ahead and do it. And then we can put the Bit Squad stamp of approval on it. Does that sound good? I like it. Maybe next week we can say it was exactly as predicted. Okay. Exactly as I predicted. So, Carl, Bitcoin right. uh, today acting a little crazy. Um, what what are you seeing on the charts? I know last week we talked about how you, you know, predicted there could be a big correction coming. I said I didn't really see it. And then, of course, a correction came. So um, it hasn't been super brutal or anything in that. I mean, we still haven't hit a new low after the original 20 percent correction. But what do you kind of see and play out, you know, in, in the coming weeks? So I'm very interested to get your take on a lot of people think a bear trap could be coming where we do go down lower before rocketing back up. Really love to hear your Ben's opinions on that. Yep, great question. Let's go into the charts right now. All right, so here we have Bitcoin on the daily time frame. And uh, yes, you are right. Last week, I was talking about the fact that um, we are potentially going to see some type of correction here based on the fact that Back here, we saw a uh, bearish divergence and the tops were rolling over. Right here, we also saw a bearish divergence and the tops were rolling over. And um, in fact, I think everyone who's been watching uh, your videos for, for some time, they remember that on your channel, we all, I talked about back here that there was a potential coming correction, right? So this correction here, I think could be a fractal of what happened back there. Um, Essentially, this whole thing here could be a, a huge fractal playing out where um, even the continuation here, this uh, descending channel could be something we're forming right now, continuing this fractal. Um, so, yeah, basically last time we spoke, um, a correction was uh, a possible scenario here with these bearish divergences. And right now we can see that the correction has happened. I think that we could potentially go lower but I don't think it's uh, necessary. I would, I would actually point towards the fact that right now, Bitcoin is actually getting some support off of this daily EMA ribbon. And as long as we hold above 44.2, then I still think we could get a bounce from here. And um, breaking 44.2, that would be, um, in my opinion, a sign that we're very likely going to head down to 41.4 approximately. Um, but going back to the, the daily here and just taking a look at this, we can see that we did get a pretty sharp rejection here. Um, it was a 19% dump in, uh, in a matter of actually hours even. It was a very, very aggressive dump. And we have seen a little bit of follow through to the downside. But yeah, so it, it basically, long story short, what I think we're looking at here potentially is a huge fractal. Um, I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing here, but it, it looks quite similar. Yeah. Yeah, um, I definitely I, I definitely do see it. Uh, and it is uh, very interesting. Um, and if, I, I wonder if you were to kind of like, I don't know, compare the, you know, this drop to the last drop to, to figure out how long sideways would be equivalent to what we went through on the downside of the large dump. Because um, I, I don't know, just looking at it, it looks like everything's packed in so tight, like dump sideways. And maybe we could be rocketing back up. I, I like what you were showing with those uh, uh, EMA ribbons. Um, mm -hmm. do, would you consider this to be a bear trap? Or do you think that there is, you know, the potential of that? A lot of people are talking about that today. That's a great question. And I think I'm going to say something that many TA analysts don't say very often. But I would say I don't know. Um, I, I really feel like I don't know if this is a bear trap or not. I really hope it's not. I, um, or a bull trap. I mean, or are we talking about... Oh, we, you're talking about... Um, a bear trap. Bear trap. Okay, okay. So basically, first of all, some people were thinking that this is a bull trap. Yeah. Um, and um, well, with this rejection, that became slightly more likely. 
uh, obviously. But um, if we talk about a bear trap here, um, that's a great question. I would say if we can hold 44.2, like I said before, then I do think that we are likely to get a, um, a pump back up. And I would uh, give you something more detailed here. If we go into the four hour, we have this descending channel, right? Um, we're seeing some support and resistance like so. And if we break the resistance here, right here, then I expect a um, a pump up here. And I would see I would say that obviously we do have uh, some clear resistance and support off of this uh, yellow horizontal line at forty six point eight. We need to break that one, obviously. And the next big uh, horizontal resistance is forty nine point four approximately. But uh, what I'm watching right now with my own trading currently is this resistance right there. And the reason for that is because if you just zoom out, you can see that when we broke this level here, that was a fantastic buy signal um, for the next leg to the mm, upside. Good point. And, um, and one more thing, actually, if I bring out the EMA ribbon again, you can see that we are right now bouncing off of the EMA ribbon on the daily time frame, or we're trying to bounce. Obviously, if we break through it, then this, uh, this theory kind of goes out the window. But if you go out on the weekly time frame, then you can see that on the weekly, we actually got a beautiful bounce off of this ribbon. And then we saw this uh, pump to the upside. So you could definitely make the case that what we're seeing right now is a very, very critical moment in time for Bitcoin, where uh, just like back here, when we got a bounce, that led to a huge leg to the upside. Um, if we get a bounce here, that could lead to a huge leg to the upside. And uh, also back here, um, I was talking about that. Obviously, if we break this level here, break the EMA ribbon and break this key support, then in that case, we're very likely going to enter into a big, big uh, bear trend down to 20K. Of course, that never happened, but uh, we always have to pay attention to all the different scenarios because, um, and I know that some people will say in the comment section that, Carl, you're saying it's going to go up or down. But no, that's not what I'm saying. Just like back here, what I was said here, if we break 30K, then we are going to see a leg down to potentially 20K or 22K or whatever I said back then. The same is happening right now. It's all about uh, if this, then that. Uh, so um, I think that's, it's basically um, technical analysis in a nutshell. It's all about support, resistance, and, um, and figuring out what happens if we break a certain uh, resistance level. Uh, but um, yeah, I think right now this fractal, that's the, the bottom line for my, my technical analysis for today. Yeah, pretty interesting stuff. Um, you know, Bitcoin just has been seeming to act so weird the last few days. I mean, it's like every couple of days we're going down $1,000. Um, and then at that point, it's like, we can't get back above that number. So, you know, we hit 47 and then it went back down. It's like, we can't quite get there. Then it hit 46. And every time we get to 46, it's going back down. Um, there's been several times over the weekend where I look like, oh, it's back at 46,000. And then an hour later, I look and we're right back at 45,000. So it really seems to be trading in a, in a pretty tight range right now. Um, so we'll just have to see what happens. I mean, I definitely don't think we're breaking, you know, new lows or anything like that. I mean, it's definitely possible we go down and bounce off of 40 or something like that. But I, I, I think that, uh, you know, we are running out of time. We, we got to see some moon action soon. So I'm actually encouraged by what you're showing me because it looks like everything's very compact and tight. And there's one thing for sure. The, the coming week, in my opinion, is going to determine whether or not we've actually been in a dead cap bounce for the last few, last month or we're going to go back to all-time highs. I think this is the week that uh, determines it. I, I agree with that. And Bitcoin really has to, um, to, to bounce soon. I think that one last thing I can tell you here in the chart is that a very, very critical level, in my opinion, for Bitcoin is this top right there, this top right there, and this is a 41.3K. Yeah. Um, if we break this 41.3K, then it becomes much more likely that this whole bullish trend here was just a bull trap and that maybe maybe this was the top and we're actually going to see a, a some kind of long consolidation or maybe even bear market. Um, I don't think it's likely because I just, I just don't see that 
I mean, I think we're all kind of on the same side here. Bitcoin is very bullish. Bitcoin is fundamentally undervalued still. I think we're going to see a huge bull cycle up to hundreds of thousands of dollars. So this would kind of go against the, the narrative that I have um, that I have in my mind currently as the more likely scenario. So um, that would be strange in my opinion. But let's just hope that Bitcoin can hold above 40, um, what did I say? 40, um, 41. 41.3. Yeah, 41.3. Yeah, that, yeah, that would be a critical level for us to hold above. Well, awesome. Well, it's definitely very critical that everyone smashes the like on this video. If you guys enjoy yes. these uh, Bitcoin TEA videos from Carl and others, guys, if you could make sure to subscribe to Carl's channel, let's get him up over 500,000 today. Uh, Carl, thank you so much for joining us today. He's been very insightful and very encouraged by what I saw actually. And, um, you know, let's hope that we're all right. And we hit a hundred thousand a little bit later on. Everybody make sure to drop your comments down below. Let us know where you think Bitcoin is going to. That's all I got. Be blessed. Good boy out. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. When it comes to crypto, you got to have skills. That's why I'm happy to be partnering with Skillshare to bring you the goods on getting to the top of your game. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes made to inspire creators. The classes are engaging and are curated to help you explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Crypto never sleeps and learning never stops. That's why I love Skillshare. It offers classes on UI and UX from world-class UI designer Patricia Reiners. Patricia teaches the fundamentals of user experiences on mobile and web applications, which is an industry that is growing in leaps and bounds. The more blockchain goes mainstream, the faster and easier the dApps are going to have to be. So learning how to make a compelling UI for an app like Crypto.com or MetaMask is going to be a crucial skill in the new blockchain economy. We have a special deal for BitSquad members. First 1,000 subscribers, click the link in the description, will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Don't miss out on this great opportunity to improve your skills and stay sharp in the crypto revolution.